Really good, eh? We've got Leon, our coach, and Jamie Gaskell. He's stepped up big time, and while, while Leon's away, Jamie's been here for us three to four times a week, which is brilliant. And we've got Troy Taufry to spar against as a heavyweight, and, and Mitchell Brown is, can hit harder than anyone, so it's good having him to spar against as well. And uh, I know Jamie will probably be back doing some sparring next week, so I'll have him to leading up to the fight, which is good. No, it's definitely, it's what you put in is what you get out, eh? So it's all about me and the boxing ring, so I've got to rely purely on my heart and the soul that I want to get through it all and just give it everything I've got, eh? I know Hoosty's going to be a tough competitor, so I've just got to give it everything and believe I can do it. Yeah, on the rugby field, he's an axe, like, hard to put down, runs arms and legs everywhere, and, yeah, he's real strong, and I know it's going to be a battle. Haven't really, like, got on with him off the rugby field, but... Yeah, looking forward to getting in the ring with them, eh? It's going to be fun. Yeah, I've had a bit of few run-ins on the streets in Hokey. Uh, yeah, got bleed from all three pubs. and uh, Yeah, just a bit of booze in me and I'm all go. But been off the booze for, for like, for, through this boxing, so haven't been in too many street fights. But, and on the rugby field, I'm, I'm known as a maggot, but every team's got to have one, and I'm it. I just want to go real hard and just do the best I can do. And the victory is up to both of us, I suppose. Like, only takes one punch to change a whole fight, and I know I've got the power to do it, and I know he is as well. So, just depends on the night, I suppose. <laughs> oh no, I've had a couple of scrapes in my life, the old one here and there. It'll be um, something different being inside a ring instead of outside a pub or something like that. But um, definitely looking forward to it, though. But, um... Yeah, it's been a challenge, like just getting used to the footwork and that's the fitness side of it. I couldn't believe how fit these guys are to do this boxing. It's unbelievable. So I thought training for rugby and league, I'd be pretty good. But first training session, I was like, what have I got myself into? <laughs> yeah, I was playing um, against Kiwi on Saturday against the opponent and that. And um, we we're going well. We were losing actually in the last five minutes. We went to go into a ruck and um, felt a bit of pain. When I, went, I think I got my finger caught up in a jersey and I looked down. She was being a bit sideways and crooked in that and I thought that's not very good I and mean, we might be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, three guys are trying to pull it back in and they finally got it back in but done a bit of ligament damage and tendon damage in as well so yeah, lucky the skin was there or someone minus a finger which was pretty interesting. <laughs> Jeremy's put all this work in and I'll put a lot of training in and really want to get out there but just going to sit back and just keep shadow sparring and um, running and that and sit back and wait and see, see how it goes, see if the swelling goes down and I can pinch a fist or something. Uh, yeah, apart from this uh, finger in the game and the weekend before that, I was, the training's been going really well. Kelly's been awesome. And I feel fitter than I've ever been, so you know, it's been the hardest training I've ever had in my life, so it's been a real challenge. It's been good. I've been loving it.